Hello there and welcome to Essential Exam Skills and Quality Study Session. You may already know that exam skills can mean the difference between an average mark and a good mark, or between pass and fail. If you study, you would want it to be effective study. If you sit for an exam, you'd want to apply sound exam techniques, right? Therefore, it makes sense to know essential exam skills. These skills will come handy, especially when you have a few exams quite close together. We would like to offer some evidence-based exam tips. Our intention is that you are equipped with essential exam skills so you perform your best during an exam and you feel a sense of satisfaction after each exam. In this video, we first present seven exam tips. We then set a 25-minute study session for you to study with music and quality concentration. Regarding the exam tips, the first two are to do with exam techniques and the rest is about exam preparation skills. Both exam techniques and preparation skills are essential to have. Regarding the 25-minute study session, some of you may ask, why 25 minutes and not 60 or 90 minutes? Good question, and we'll answer this a little later. Now we present the seven exam tips. If you already know the following tips, then all the better. Also, you can add your own favorite tips to our list. Feel free to share with us in the comments section below. Exam tip one. Manage and plan exam time well. Because of the nature of our concentration, one school of thought is that if you have an exam of 90 minutes, it is helpful to approach this as three 30-minute sections. This way you are more likely to maintain quality concentration during the 90 minutes. This technique will be useful, especially when you have a long exam of, say, two or three hours. Exam tip two, and this is my personal favorite exam technique. Learn to utilize both the left and right sides of the brain at the same time during an exam. Neuroscience shows that our brain works best when we engage both sides of the brain at the same time. What does this mean in an exam? Well, in an exam, you begin with a difficult question. You work on it with good focus for a bit. If you cannot see your way through to a solution, you quickly move to an easy question. After your attempt at an easy question, return to the difficult question. This procedure activates both the left and right sides of the brain at the same time. If you happen to find yourself stuck on a question during an exam, don't stay stuck. Move to another, hopefully easy question and then return to the difficult question. How you prepare for an exam has an impact on your performance during an exam. The next few tips will be on exam preparation. Exam tip three, avoid long study sessions. Instead, study with the right background music in short intervals of 25 minutes for optimal concentration. This is known as the Pomodoro study technique. Why is quality concentration important? Because quality concentration during study helps with information retention, which in turn helps with recall of information during an exam. This answers the question we touched earlier on, why not a 60 or 90 minute study session? Exam tip four, and you probably already do this, which is great. Test yourself or teach someone the materials that you think you will be examined on. The process of self-testing and teaching helps with understanding and retaining information in your long-term memory, 
and recalling information later in an exam. Exam tip 5, and you probably know this, avoid cramming. Cramming leads to information overload. This means the majority of the information won't get transferred to your long-term memory and this leads to the next tip. Exam tip 6. Start revision early. This way you avoid cramming and you have time to revise key elements several times. Use a combination of study skills when you revise. By the way, we will be uploading more videos on effective study skills. Exam tip 7. Make a daily to-do list, but when you study, just focus on one thing at a time. If you happen to find yourself worrying about all the other study you need to do, which is quite natural, simply notice that worry and then you calmly bring your attention back to your study. This is important because worrying can lead to stress and overwhelm. This simple noticing strategy can help you reduce worry and stress and stay centered on your study. We've gone through the seven exam tips. How do you use them? Well, you practice one or two exam tips each time you study with this video. You may want to save this video link for regular use. By the way, this video comes with a different music tone referred to as music version B. Check it out and see which music version you prefer. A tip on study music. It is found that music with little or no lyrics works well for studying because it's less distracting. Do you need to pause the video to get your books ready? Next, you study for 25 minutes while the music is playing. When the music stops, You'll hear my voice again. All the best and enjoy.
Well done! You've just studied for 25 minutes. Now you can take a short break of 3 or 4 minutes and then rewind the tape to study for another session. If you don't want a break, you can rewind the tape but change to a different topic or subject. Good luck with your exams!